Hey there, how's it going guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the high grade elf bullock from the Reconquista and G series. Uh, if you guys remember, I did a out of box review a little while back for the Jahannam uh, kit and I wasn't really all that impressed with it. There was actually quite a bit that I disliked about that kit so I was actually kind of curious to try another Reconquista and G kit and this was actually one of the designs that sort of appealed to me. It, uh, like most Reconquista and G kits, this one is definitely a very unique design. It almost reminds me a little bit of something from Evangelion, just from like the long limb proportions and kind of the interesting shape of the head. And it's very thin, but I'm interested to see how it's going to turn out. So anyway, here on the front, you can see the uh, box art, which is looking very cool. You can see all the beam guns out of the knees, the wrists, the shoulders, everywhere. It's just beam spamming all over the place. But it's a pretty cool box art. I do like it. I'm not really a fan of like this title style they've gone with for the um, HGRC kits, but yeah, it's not so bad. Here on the bottom, there you're getting the front and rear view of the kit, the mobile suit I should say, up on the stand with those very very long beam effects coming out of the feet. There's the transformation into the kind of flight mode, I guess it would be. Action. There with a very high kick with the beam foot. And then there's the uh, display base that we're getting with this, and it should be very, very tall. I believe this is a 1-100 um, scale, like uh, ba action base. And there's the large booster and the detail of the effects. There you can see uh, the same box art there. On the other side, here you've got the price tag. I picked this up at a shop in Seoul, Hobby Factory. I've talked about the shop before, and you should be seeing a tour of that shop coming up pretty soon. Uh, the original price was 18,000 won, but it was on sale for 14,400 won, so that's something around like $13 American. And here we can see the list price is actually 18,000 yen, so one thing that's really cool about the shop is that uh, they usually sell the price for right around the exactly the list price. Uh, 100 yen is comparable to 1,000 Korean won, so it uh, transfers basically just about the same there. Pretty similar anyway. Um, there's a bit of story there about uh, Reconquista NG. There's Mask, the pilot for this mobile suit, and just a little bit about the Elf Bollock. Let's go ahead and open it up. Inside we're going to have one bag here, and you can see there are our foil stickers. The second bag there also contains the poly caps. Third bag is just the beam effect parts only. Fourth bag, just a couple other smaller runners. And the fifth bag there you can see is the display base and some other larger, darker color parts. Then we've got the manual, just uh, with the same box art there on the front. On the back, some basically a lot more of the same stuff that we saw on the outside of the box. We open it up, and this is just a fold out. Uh, and we can see there in the parts. There's going to be no X's except for it looks like one, two, three, four poly caps. Everything else is going to be used, so that's cool. Here we've got this very cool picture of the Elf Bullock and some mass production types there. Basically it looks pretty similar, just color, color swap and without the commander antenna there on the top of the head. And here we can see just some close-ups of all, where all the beam gun all over the kit and there's the Jahannam uh, in both the standard and commander type and then here's the color guide for the kit mostly pretty beige, brown, and orange it's pretty cool, pretty unique color scheme, something we don't see all that often here inside it's starting off with the head and then the body then the waist, then the left arm then to the next page, then we've got the right arm left leg right leg then assembly of the body, then moving on to the backpack, then just backpack should be pretty simple looks like, then the base, and on the color pages it just got about the weapons, this kit doesn't come with any weapons like a gun or a shield or anything like that, basically it's only got the beam feet, so pretty simple, it's mostly just a part swap there to make the beam effect coming out of the feet, and then here's a bit about the transformation into its flight mode, and it looks like we are going to be having a, a separate piece that you're going to be using on the base to assist in that uh, flight mode. So, looks all very cool. Let's take a closer look at the runners now. 
First up, here's a look at the foil stickers. Um, got a medium amount, not a whole lot, but uh, not more than a few. Looks like we've got basically there's the one for the face. Pretty obviously there's a green one for the back of the head. These small little circle ones there are going to go on the forearms and on the shoulders. These uh, black stripe ones are also going on the shoulders. These black stripe ones are going on the front of the thigh armor. And then there's four little green ones there. Those are also going to go on the legs. And here's our polycap sheet. Pretty small. It's PC02, so not really a whole lot of polycaps on there. And like I said, we are going to be omitting four of them, so not very many polycaps with this kit. Here's runner A, and it's all in this kind of beige color. It's pretty light color, so looks pretty cool. The details on there do look really nice, actually. A lot of really crisp details. If we take a closer look here, I'll try to show you there's some of those uh, kind of beam effect uh, or beam emitters, beam guns kind of. These are going to be the shoulder parts there. These looks like probably the parts for the chest and then some other maybe arm parts. Yeah, these are forearm parts like that. So a lot of the main kind of armor parts here on the A runner. Then for the B runner, we've actually got two of these. These are just in that same kind of beige color and they just make up the rest of the um, main armor parts mostly and these look mostly look like they're going to be parts that are going on the leg. Then for the C1 runner it's just basically in this very basic brown color as we can see is basically some of the alternate colors, a couple of joint parts, there's the hands there. Uh, one thing that I definitely dislike about a lot of the Reconquista kits is the hands. It looks like it's not going to be any different here. They just don't look interesting at all and they look very kind of oversized and a little bit silly in my opinion. Here's a closer look at those hands. Yeah, mm, I don't know. Might be cool kind of to actually uh, just kind of saw those in between and just kind of separate the fingers a little bit. Might actually try that. Maybe later we'll give that a try. I'll uh, show you guys that in process and we'll see how it turns out. Then we do have a C2 which is just a copy of uh, about a quarter of the C1 runner. Then we have a D runner with just a few orange parts here. It's a pretty cool orange color. I like it. It's not like really bright orange like we saw on like the Heine Westenfluss uh, custom Destiny kit but it's definitely a much uh, more like pumpkin orange kind of color. That's cool. I think it should look good on the kit. And the E runner is just our uh, effect parts for the feet. They look pretty cool. Nice color orange for those. And here's the F runner, which looks like it's mostly parts for the large booster backpack. It looks like here's maybe one part for the face there on the end. And this part up here is actually going to be the part that you're going to use to connect the flight mode into the action base if you want to display in flight mode. So we'll give you a look at that in the review. And finally, molded in black here is the runner BA2 or Base 2. Uh, once again, this is mostly used for 1-100 scale kits. I believe this is the first time this is actually used for a 1-144 scale kit. Don't quote me on that, but I that's just what I think because I don't think there's been any other kits that are really have this much height that they need a base like this. The reason it needs to be up this high is because of those beam effect parts on the feet, so that should be pretty cool. So that is it for the Elf Bullock. I'm actually pretty excited to uh, take a look at this kit. It seems pretty interesting, although it does seem to suffer from some of the same things that I disliked about the Space Jehannam and just some of the things that I haven't liked uh, what I've seen about some of the other kits in the series. But all in all, it looks interesting. It should be pretty fun, and it didn't really cost all that much, so even if it's not all that interesting, it'll still be... Um, just something to try out. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.